Good morning, ladies. This is Jamie, and I thought we would do another project today. Um, so you see before you a plastic sandwich baggie and just a regular sheet of copy paper. So you're thinking, what is she going to do with that? Well, we are going to make a CD case or envelope. CD envelope with um, some sandwich baggy lining and um, I have seen a video by Pink Godbird she makes something like that the only thing is I don't know what size an actual CD case is so I I just made mine a square uh, five by five and some of the squares are are maybe a little more Than five by five. So I made three of them last night So I thought we would make one together So um, all I did Was take my paper the long way lay it down it's just like making uh, like a little one of those little mini bags or envelopes almost the same concept and then I just use my guide here to try to get at five inches it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be perfect because I don't think I'm gonna actually put a CD in it so so there, I got, I got about five inches um, in width. So I'm just guessing on this. Just put the bottom flap up some. And then I'll move it down to my lines. And I'll put this flap so that we're about five inches. So we have an imperfect five by five square <laughs> so then what I do is I unfold it and I cut my bottom and I just leave a slight slant on the bottom because that's going to fold up Hope that's making sense then I want to cut this square off and this square off so that I have a flap right here I hope I'm in frame yep Like that and then I like to round this this part here is this part so to get an even amount I just uh, I don't crease it but I just fold it along here and then I just cut a curve shape here and I just try to get down there and this again doesn't have to be perfect so there's that and then I also on this part on the top of the CD case I just come in make sure those are even and just do a slight slant like that and then on the inside of the CD case so that we don't see our pencil marks we are going to use some masking tape that is just the right size and we're going to um, center that try to center it in between your lines evenly like that and then I'm just going to trace around that real lightly like that 
and then I'm going to cut this circle out. I use this to cut it out, but I'm not going to make you guys watch me cut this whole circle out because it's going to take a little bit of time for me to do. So I'll pause you and I'll be right back. Okay, <clears throat> we have our circle cut out. And this is the part where if you want to do inking, um, to do inking on the inside of your circle that we just cut out. So we'll just ink that up. And I'll do the rest later. I just wanted to do that real quick. So we turn our piece of paper back, our CD case background. And I just have a plastic sandwich bag that I had already cut down the seams. I just cut down the seams to make it one flat piece. I don't know. Yeah, you guys can see that. Okay. So, I'm just going to line the edges of that up with two edges, and then I'm going to cut the other two edges. <clears throat> and my scissors don't like this plastic. <laughs> they will cut, but I have to take a couple passes through. we have that part done we move our plastic to the side and then you take your glue that you like um, I'm using uh, aliens tacky glue I love this stuff I could use a uh, glue stick too but I'm just going around the perimeter of the circle like that you guys see and then we're going to lay our plastic on top and then flatten it down and once the glue dries, it dries clear. You're not going to see it. So there you go. Then all you do is you glue the sides, whoops, the sides down. And then the bottom flap. And there you go. There's our CD case. So I'll ink all around the edge there. So um, let's see what how much time do we have? We have enough time. I want to decorate this so let me get my stuff and I'll come back okay so I took a little bit of time off camera so that you guys didn't have to watch me um, <clears throat> waste time um, trying out different papers and stuff so um, I come up with one that I think I, a little collage that I think I like so I'm just going to glue that down. It just saves a little bit of time so that I don't use up my whole 20 minutes trying to figure out what papers I want to glue down. Good. 
kind of wonky. <clears throat> Another hot day here in northern Maine. We're not used to the hot weather. We only, we get such a short summer. Um, but most of our months are winter. So we're snow babies. We are used to the snow time, winter time. So just a little simple collage on there. And I think I want to ink around there. Just to make it look a little bit more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Mm. Grungy? That's the word I was looking for, grungy. I'm going to put a little bit of washi tape there. Just for a little bit of color. There. There's our collaged CD case. Am I even? <laughs> oh, I hope I just didn't do all that and I wasn't in frame. I'll have to check if I was too far off. Then I'll have to start all over again. But there you go, guys. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you want. Subscribe if you want. Um, and have a very, very, very wonderful day. Um. Yeah. All right. I guess I'm done. <laughs> Bye.